This is Peter Learmonth, Virtualization Solutions Architect with the NetApp Virtualization Team. This demonstration highlights vStorage APIs for array integration on NetApp storage systems. Everything in vSphere fits one of six functional areas. vStorage includes existing technologies such as VMFS and NFS and vStorage APIs for Site Recovery Manager, Data Protection, and Multipathing. VAAI is a new component of vStorage consisting of three primitives, full copy, block zeroing, and hardware-assisted locking. VAAI offloads these functions that are more efficiently performed on the storage array, freeing server and network resources. This was a joint development effort between VMware, NetApp, EMC, and Equalogic since 2007. vStorage features evolve with vSphere releases. vSphere 4.1 today adds VAAI including full copy, block zeroing, and hardware assisted locking. Full copy enables the storage arrays to make full copies of data within the array without having to have the ESX server read and write the data. Block zeroing enables storage arrays to zero out large number of blocks to speed up the provisioning of VMs. Hardware assisted locking provides an alternative means to, to protect the metadata for VM cluster file systems, thereby improving the scalability of large ESX server farms sharing a data store. Full copy, also known as copy offload, has two primary use cases, vCenter cloning and storage vMotion. On storage systems or versions of vSphere that do not support VAI, every block to be copied is, is, or moved is read from the storage system across the wire, then written back over the wire to the storage controller to a new location on disk. In vSphere 4.1, ESX sends one command telling the VIA-enabled NetApp storage system to copy blocks within the controller. The value is this accelerates cloning and storage vMotion by up to 10 times and reduces the impact on server and network substantially. Full copy functionality is accessed by cloning or migrating a VM using the normal vCenter menus and wizards. Full copy is also used automatically by NetApp Virtual Storage Console when cloning virtual machines in VMFS data stores. You do not need to turn anything on to enable VAAI. Although VAAI does not yet support NFS, equivalent rapid cloning functionality already exists for NFS data stores using NetApp Flex Clone managed by the Virtual Storage Console. Block zeroing is used to ensure virtual disks do not contain stale or old data. In some cases, for example VMware fault tolerance, it also ensures blocks are fully provisioned. Without VAAI, when ESX needs to zero many blocks, each block is explicitly written from the server to storage, consuming CPU and network resources. With vSphere 4.1, ESX tells the VIA-enabled NetApp storage system to write a pattern of zeros to a large set of sequential blocks. The value is it accelerates creation of zero to VM decays by up to 10 times and reduces the impact on the server and network. You access this feature of VAAI by creating a virtual disk or a virtual machine with a virtual disk, and you check the checkbox that selects support for features such as fault tolerance. This means that the virtual disk will be zeroed out upon creation. As it notes, selecting this option will increase the time it takes to create the virtual machine or virtual disk, but with VAI enabled, that increase in time will be much reduced. Hardware-assisted locking enables more granular locking so that one ESX server does not need to lock all other servers out of a line during certain operations. Without VAAI, in order to safely update VMFS metadata or lock a virtual machine's disk, an ESX server has to lock the entire LUN. This briefly blocks all I.O. from other servers using that LUN. The server locks the smaller object that it actually wanted and then releases the LUN lock and other servers can resume their I.O. With VAAI, servers are able to check if an object is unlocked, then safely set a lock without the risk that another server might be trying to lock the same object. I.O. from other servers is not interrupted at all. The value is that with hardware assisted locking, we eliminate the potential performance impact of LUN locking. It allows VMFS to scale to many more VMs per data store and allows more servers per cluster. NetApp has tested with 128 VMs in a single VMFS LUN.
For NetApp integration, in the ESX Configuration Storage Adapters view, clicking on an HBA and a LUN that resides on a NetApp storage system will show the VAI support for that system and LUN. Also, this information is included in the NetApp Virtual Storage Console plugin for vSphere. As stated, vStorage features evolve with vSphere releases. In vSphere 4.1 with data on tap 8.0.1, we add VAI support with full copy, block zeroing, and hardware-assisted locking. We also add storage I.O. control, large NFS data stores, and NFS performance monitoring, which are covered in a separate demo. All these features are available with NetApp, IBM N-Series, and third-party arrays with V-Series in front.